Et je vais vous présenter notre prochain présentateur. Our next roaster is a former, well, like the Mayor Watson said earlier, he's been in politics for a few decades now. Uh, former city councilor for the uh, for Ottawa for Osgood Ward. Uh, him and, uh, and Councilor Manette worked together for a number of years. He was also former mayor of Osgood Township. And uh, before that, I think he worked for 80 years as a teacher, right? Like 35 years. But, you know, he was also the first resident of Greeley in 1967. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to welcome uh, Doug Thompson to the podium. <laughs> Still don't. Uh, Bob uh, represents Ward 1 Orleans, and uh, we've heard what a great job he's done. And uh, uh, usually at council meetings, Bob will often, as you know, speak on items that were up for debate. And uh, we always see a former clerk up here. Here, there was a procedure when you vote, it's Ward 1, Ward 2, Ward 3, all the way around. And that was a great asset for me, but because by the time I got around to Ward 20, I was able to figure out why you voted the way you did. It was, uh, it was an honor to get uh, advice from a, a great colleague. Uh, in uh, 2009, uh, I was acting mayor, Bob, not deputy mayor, acting mayor, uh, for a short time. And it was uh, during that time that I asked Councillor Manette uh, about honoring a very special lady with a day named in her honor. And Bob said, Yes, Doug, Shannon Tweed deserves a day of her honor. <laughs> but thank you for that great advice. Uh, it was one of my greatest achievements uh, in 30 years. Uh, in uh, 2010, uh, the procedure for setting up uh, committees, uh, you work before it gets to council, there are nominations to chair committees. And Bob, you, you remember this very well. You wanted to chair the transportation committee very 
badly. But uh, I think Mayor Watson had other ideas. There was another council where he wanted to chair that uh, transportation committee. And Bob was really upset, so he said, Doug, uh, when these come to council, would you do me a favor? Would you nominate me for, uh, for that position? Uh, and uh, so I did. Uh, of course, uh, my motion was defeated. And following the meeting, I walked past the mayor, and he said, Doug, what the hell was that all about? And uh, I, I just wanted to let you know, Bob, for the next year, I did get a bloody cent for infrastructure in Oscar <laughs> Uh, Bob uh, uh, was uh, uh, very uh, dedicated uh, politician, and uh, he always was there to listen, to ask questions, and give his opinion. And you can count on his uh, decision. And uh, there's one thing about Bob: if you talk to him, you lobby him before council. If Bob or committee or council, if Bob said that he was going to support you or not support you, you knew that, and he never changed uh, his, his opinion. Uh, Bob was very interested in promoting sports, as you heard, and I remember uh, one time that we, uh, Bob asked me to go with him and city staff over to see the uh, stadium because we felt the city wasn't keeping up the infrastructure, so we went over there, uh, took a tour around. And following that visit, uh, Bob was so upset that uh, I have to give him credit that he uh, spoke and uh, encouraged city staff to go back and spend money on the infrastructure and, and keep it up to date. And that work uh, at that time was very important because had we, Bob not done that, the stadium probably would have been demolished. And uh, it was his work that they spent money, fixed it up, and uh, now we have a champion team this year. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> On another occasion, Bob was uh, visiting the city water treatment plant, and uh, I don't know how the, how the hell that happened, but anyway, he found somebody uh, squealed or just was talking. Uh, you have a good way of getting information out of people. But anyway, <laughs> Bob was there, and he found out there were some problems. Uh, he came back and, uh, and we investigated, and there were issues there. And it was shortly after that that uh, uh, there were changes made to ensure that we have uh, safe drinking water for uh, the residents. Bob was also, uh, uh, as you've heard, a driving force uh, in the city's redevelopment of Lansdale Parking. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you, uh, you called me about a week ago and asked me to send in my speech. And uh, so I sent it to you and used, used half of my lines. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice of you. Uh, but, uh, uh, I, I'm sure that you've seen it. Bob, as you mentioned here, he uh, was a very strong supporter of that development. And uh, it's, it's quite a, a great achievement that we have for the city, uh, both for uh, businesses and sports team development. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, Bob, uh, when actually did you come on council? You, you normally you wait for an election every two or three or four years. But you came a little early, didn't you? January 2006. January 2006. Were you there when Albion Road was uh, debated, or what? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought so. How did you vote on that? I voted for it. Yes, uh, that was uh, that was quite a contentious issue. Uh, very little I used we had, we had a great time we uh, we don't get out much but we used to uh, we used to drive to that intersection and we'd sit there and we watch people come up and we weren't allowed to go straight through but uh, so we would sit there and watch people come up and stop and look around and then drive right through and uh, sometimes the police were there sometimes they weren't uh, and also I think Bob I wasn't sure but I know there was a time recently that there were going, there was a uh, new casino that was going to come to Ottawa. Mm -hmm. I think there was a camp that wanted to have it downtown. I don't know who, uh, who led that fight to have it downtown. Do you recall? I'm not sure. <laughs> they, uh, anyway, uh, Bob was very instrumental uh, uh, in uh, that debate, and I, I, I just give the mayor a little rib here, but we did have great uh, fun with that, and we worked on that file, and eventually. Uh, we voted to have it at Rio Carlton. I think you supported me on that too. Was great. I wasn't sure, you know, when people hold your memory goes ahead. 
Uh, Bob has been a remarkable uh, counselor for uh, Ward 1. Uh, I've always enjoyed working with him. Uh, he uh, has, has to me, is the epitome of uh, a politician. He uh, works well in the community. He uh, listens to people. Uh, he's very confident when he researches material. Uh, when he's at council, he would read his material thoroughly. And as I said earlier, one of the few uh, politicians, and no disrespect for the others that are here, uh, Scott, <laughs> you know, sometimes in politics you walk around before the council meeting and you lobby people and they say, yes, I'm going to support you, yes, that's, and then you get to council and sure enough, you know, they go the other way. But uh, Bob has always been a strong supporter of mine and uh, uh, when he uh, sent me a check for $50 to ask me if I would come to roast him, I accepted it very quickly. Uh, uh, sort of pays for my gas one way, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, congratulations and all the best in the future.